Volvo Cars will from today start developing its autonomous drive cars with help from Swedish families. They will test its cars on the public roads of Gothenburg and feed back their impressions to Volvo's engineers. The first two families, the Haynes and the Simonovskis, have now received their special Volvo XC90, with which they will contribute to the Drive Me project. It feels fantastic to finally reach the day for for us to have the car. It's really great to be a part of this research program. Both families will contribute to Drive Me with invaluable data by allowing Volvo engineers to monitor their everyday use and interaction with the car as they drive to work, bring the kids to school or buy groceries. Volvo plans to have a fully autonomous driving car available by 2021 and the data derived from the Drive Me customers will play a crucial role in its development. My thoughts about self-driving cars is that when everybody is going to have those, we will have less accidents and the queues will hopefully be gone. So we will save time and save lives. Self-driving cars is so exciting. As a safety pioneer in this project, it's very exciting. Uh, that is the crucial part about self-driving. I think uh, actually the getting the road safer is, uh, is the biggest contribution. Hopefully, I'll within a year have my driver's license and I'll be able to drive the car by myself, not just sit in the back seat and watch my mom and dad contribute to this development in technology. The families have now received a car fitted with Volvo's driver assistant technology. Their behavior behind the wheel will be monitored with the help of additional cameras and sensors. Three more families will follow early next year and over the next four years, up to 100 people will be involved in DriveMe. DriveMe is an important research project for Volvo. We expect to learn a lot from observing these families. We will use the experience of these everyday drivers to develop our autonomous technology so that we have a commercially available autonomous car for our customers by 2021. To be chosen to be the first Drive family, to be part of this research program, I was really happy when you phoned and <laughs> called that we were the ones that were chosen. And I think it's really great that we can give a human perspective to the development of the self-driving cars. As in, you can focus on the technology and we can focus on how we perceive it and how it feels to use the technology and give you feedback and see what you want to change or not. My thoughts about self-driving cars is that when everybody is going to have those, we will have less accidents and the queues will hopefully be gone. So we will save time and save lives. It's really great to be a part of this research program. When I think about self-driving cars, I think about the future how I can go to work uh, without actually driving. I, and uh, if all the cars were self-driving, uh, I mean, there wouldn't, wouldn't be an accident and we could, uh, everybody could uh, <laughs> come to work. Oh, I think it's fantastic to be part of this research program, to be a, a pioneer with self-driving cars, uh, be able to help, at least I think I would like to help uh, developing and uh, see it from the human side or the consumer side i don't know it feels fantastic to finally reach the day for for us to have the car and try this new technology well of course i'm a human so the car will learn from from my way to be in the world and how i how I experience the world, how I, how I am on the road. So the car will learn from that and by giving my thoughts and experiences, it will be a lot easier for Volvo to improve the car and make it better for the next generation of users. Hopefully I'll within a year have my driver's license and I'll be able to drive the car by myself, not just sit in the back seat and watch my mom and dad contribute to this development in technology. I'll be able to contribute to developing the car and it'll learn from my movements, from my experience on the road and it'll just be exciting and fun to do so and to be able to contribute to the future.
And my thoughts about the self-driving cars, it's um, that it's really fun and really cool that the, the future is coming to us. And when when I were like five years old, I never could ever thought of this car could be actually happening. And now this is re really coming and I don't know, it's, um, it's a strange feeling. <laughs> I think we could help Volvo to develop the car from a perspective from the human, because I know for, uh, Volvo um, thinking about how the human going to be in the car and not the te technology. So I think that's going to be a really good thing for Volvo to have us. <laughs> in a few years, when I go to get my driver license and if I drive a self-driving car, I'm think that I'm going to feel very confident that I can trust the car, that if I'm just losing control, the car can take over me. <laughs> and yeah, it's really fascinating. Since this project is a lot about getting the roads safer, um, I think uh, actually the getting the roads safer is, a, is the biggest contribution. Uh, being involved in this project. In our daily life, uh, taking the children to their trainings, I think that we can um, uh, add some, some, some good information. Uh, a normal family driving, to, driving their children to their uh, trainings and go to the grocery stores and uh, yeah, the, da the daily things that we do. I feel very proud to be a part of this research program and contribute to the development of self-driving cars. When I think about self-driving cars, uh, I think of uh, science fiction uh, and a super efficient <laughs> transportation system. I have a big passion for driving, both uh, the everyday uh, driving uh, to work and also the long trips uh, on different vacations. Self-driving cars is so exciting. Self-driving cars is so exciting.